welcome back to my channel and today's video is a watch me work design so i'm not going to sit here and waffle on too much i would just want to say as always i will pop all the links to the products i have used in the description box and don't forget to check that box out for any discount codes i might have for those companies but i will try and leave them somewhere here on the screen throughout the video if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click that subscribe button and if you have any requests for designs you would like to see or you just want to say hi please leave me any comments down below so that is it no messing around today let's get on with the design Mwah. so this set was inspired by these fabulous cinderella decals from the lovely bev aka queen of decals and she did those and a whole host of disney characters in collaboration with sticky diamond in fact they are still creating new designs um, as we speak <laughs> so i am going to be doing a whole series of videos covering all the different characters but i thought i would start with cinderella because cinderella is my favorite so I'm using three of these little daisy decals and I'm just cutting out as close to the image as I can and here I'm just lining up which size Cinderella would be best and then I will again cut that out nice and close, lay them on my wet um, sponge, leave it to one side to forget about. Now I've got this gorgeous metallic mesh from Glitterati Nails in light blue and I thought it was perfect for Cinderella's gorgeous sort of ball gown um, so I thought perfect to use in this set um, so that's what I'm using first so I've already applied my tips and a thin clear base to my Lottie hand but I'm going in with a little bit more clear wet acrylic uh, over top of this nail to use as sort of glue basically uh, and I'm going to be honest with you now I really made a mess of this like an awful mess because I didn't quite apply enough acrylic um, I should have just applied it to the whole nail and been done with but no I tried to be clever just apply it where I needed it didn't apply enough and then I was trying to just apply little bits underneath covered the finger I mean yeah it 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 worked out in the end but yeah not at the time so I got it stuck down, just going to forget about it for now, uh, get over the trauma of it. I'm now going in, it really was a trauma, I'm going to be honest. Um, right, back to what I'm actually doing now, because I'm trying to forget about that. I am using Ice Lolly from Team Gorgeous and I'm going to be doing a little bit of an ombre on this nail and the pinky nail. So I've applied it at sort of where the natural free edge would be blended it back towards the cuticle and then pulled it down towards the free edge keeping it nice and thin because I will be encapsulating all of these nails at the end so I don't want it thick and bulky but I really like this pastel blue it is a really soft soft pastel blue uh, baby blue color it is really pretty but it's really pigmented it applies nicely and yeah it's a color I've used quite a lot of um, and it was perfect for a Cinderella set. So coming in next with Whipped Cream. This is another Team Gorgeous acrylic, as was the clear I used, which was Clear Candy. And if you like the look of any of my Team Gorgeous colours, I do have a discount code. Please check out the description box because I think it will be changing any day now. So I'll put the new code in there. So I'm just going in again nice and thin and fading that down over top of the blue. Now this blend doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to be putting my Cinderella decal on top of that. But I want to make sure I'm putting it on top of wet acrylic so I was just making it nice and neat. And then going straight in with the decal, sliding it off the backing paper and then placing it and patting it down. Now by using the decals on these sponges, I find you don't have any excess water to blot off. But if you did, just blot off on your kitchen roll before placing it on. And obviously that acrylic was wet underneath, so I want to make sure I'm just patting where the decal is, not on the acrylic, because I don't want finger marks or anything. And I don't really want wet acrylic on my fingers either. 
Then I'm just gonna leave that to set in place, going on to the pinky, and yep, I'm doing another ombre. <laughs> so again, with whipped cream, fading it down over top of the um, blue. And again, I'm gonna be putting stuff on top of here so it doesn't have to be a perfect ombre but actually I find these two colours um, ombre together really nicely so just finishing that off and then I have got Cinderella from the Glitter Fairy Princess Collection glitters felt it kind of was the glitter I needed to use and it's really pretty so I've just put a little bit of that glitter over top of the wet acrylic with my wet brush didn't want loads just a smattering and then I've gone over it again with a wet bead of clear acrylic just to level it out a bit and now I'm popping those three daisy decals on top just bringing them down the nail these little ones could not get off because I was all fingers and thumbs even with the tweezers so just a little bit more wet acrylic because it gives the decal something to stick to but you don't want loads because you don't want to be adding lots of bulk to the nail just keep it nice and thin and wet and eventually I hope I'll have the last one there we go and for anyone wondering uh, in this video I'm using my Glitter Planet size 12 aqua brush and this is the tanned FX hand from Now Tech Supplies Back to the nail that gave me nightmares. <laughs> I'm cutting away the excess material and I'm just bringing it in the side slightly so that I can fully encapsulate the nail. Obviously where I had acrylic on the finger I had to do a little bit of, you know, adjusting. Um, and then once I am happy with how that is cut, I am going in with that gorgeous, gorgeous Cinderella glitter from the Glitter Fairy again and I'm popping it at the top of the nail by the cuticle and just fading it over top of that join down the nail slightly and then I bet you can guess what I'm going to do next. I'm going to do it at the tip uh, and fade it in slightly. So yeah, that's what, what I've at the moment I'm faffing but <laughs> eventually when I'm happy with it you know me a bit of a perfectionist I'm gonna do the same at the tip there we go and just finishing that off uh, so while I'm faffing and finishing that off I am just gonna say if you're liking the look of these fabulous decals from Queen of Decals I do have a discount code for there it is on the screen now. I also have a discount code for Glitter Planet and the fabulous aqua brushes and for Nail Tech Supplies and those these brilliant plas, plastic, no, silicon training hands. So the codes are on screen now, but I'll also pop them in the description box for you all so you don't forget them. And now I'm just coming in on this final nail with that lovely glitter. I love this glitter. Um, and doing a full glitter nail because you know what I felt this set needed more glitter so I am just going to finish off covering this nail again keeping it nice and thin and then when I'm happy with this glitter placement so basically when I finish doing a lot of faffing no there we go I am going to cap all of these nails in my clear candy acrylic and I'm going to file and refine them off camera and I will be back when it's time to finish off these nails So my nails are all filed and refined and looking pretty good, even if I do say so myself. So now it's time to add a little bit of blue. So 
I got a selection of blue Swarovskis from Angel Crystals and I am just using my bling adhesive from Nail Tech Supplies along with my picker upper from there to apply a bit of a crystal tiara at the cuticle of that Cinderella nail. So just placing a nice thin amount of that adhesive and just adding a little bit more where I need it. Placing the crystals on and then curing it for 60 seconds. So just making sure all of those crystals are in line and perfectly in place before popping it in my lamp. The other end of this is sort of a pointy end to move them around, but now nah, I use that end to move them. And once they are out of the lamp, all cured, I'm just going in with my Team Gorgeous Top Gloss. I seem to have a little bit of hair on that nail. Um, just going over with a nice thin coat of this on this nail, butting right up to those crystals. And uh, then I'm going to cure this in my lamp for a, another 60 seconds. So on this nail where I applied that uh, material, I've given it a wipe over with my gel cleanse and now I'm going to be doing a bit of a swirly painted design. I recently did an online um, swirls course with Anna Gibbons. Uh, she was absolutely amazing at how she taught how to do these swirls. It's something I've always tried and failed at, but um, I feel I have a little bit of the hang of it now, which is why I've done it in a video. So I'm using one of the brushes from Anna's website and also the white gel paint from there, which I will link below and I will also add what size brush I used. And I'm just doing a little bit of a design which I did in the course. Now I'm not going to talk through this because, or talk through what I'm doing at least. I am just going to let you finish watching. But once I had finished the design, I cured it in my lamp for 30 seconds. I added a few Swarovskis to this nail as well and then I top coated the design. So I'm going to leave it there and I will be back once this nail is completely finished. So here is the design finished and I'm going to be honest, I am so pleased with how this set came out. I absolutely love them and I love those decals. Uh, I do actually have them on my own nails at the moment. I will get some photographs to put on my pages very soon because I've been naughty and haven't done that. But yep, yeah, I absolutely love these and I cannot wait to do designs with the uh, other princess decals. But that is it for this video so I would like to thank you all for watching as always I will pop all the links for the products I have used in the description box along with those discount codes I have for the various companies if you haven't already please click that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up while you're there and I look forward to seeing you again very very soon bye for now Mwah!